Never let the girl feel that she is better than you. I don't care if you're cold approaching her, I don't care if you're casually dating her, in an LTR with her, or especially married to her. You never want her to feel that she is better than you, that she can replace you, that she can find a better man, that she can monkey branch to a higher value male. You never ever want her to feel that she is better than you. Instead, you want to assert, okay, you want to assert the fact that you are better than her, okay, and you really want to put this into your head too, guys, so it's not enough for you to just act this way, you must believe it, okay, you must see it, because when you see it, you believe it, okay, and when you see it and you believe it, guess what, by default, you will act like it, you will act like you are better than her. Now, does this mean to treat her like dog shit? Does this mean to treat her piss poorly? No, absolutely not. All I'm saying is you will set a standard in your relationship where you know you are in the power position. And I've talked about this before, guys. We call it the one up or the builder versus a star, right? You want to be the star of the relationship. You don't want to be the builder because the builder always gets dumped. You want to be the star of that relationship. Okay, but at the end of the day, your girl needs to know that you are better than her. Even though she will never verbally say it, right? Most girls won't verbally tell you that. They'll just kind of keep it to themselves or they'll at least feel that you are, right? They'll feel that you are a higher value male than what she is used to getting and she won't want to let go of you. She won't want to think about monkey branching to a guy who is potentially lower value than, than she is, okay? But whenever you put it in the girl's head that you are better than her, the best way to do this is really non-verbally, right? You shouldn't have to verbally say this. You should be able to demonstrate it to the girl in a variety of ways where she will begin to see and feel and believe that, wow, this guy is better than me, okay? Because once she sees, feels, and believes that, that chick ain't going nowhere, okay? I can promise you that right now. That chick ain't going nowhere. The relationships that end up having problems, right, are the ones where, without fail, the guy is convinced that his girl is better than him, right? He's convinced of that. Like, he's convinced that she could replace him with a better man, higher value man, makes more money, more jack, better looking, and that he's the one who's dog shit. And... Really, that just becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and the girl does end up dumping him, okay? You can think back on any relationship you had where you believed that the girl was better than you, right? What happened? Did it work out? No, that girl always dumped you. And any relationship you have going forward where you believe that the, the girl is better than you, that girl will dump you too, okay? And I mentioned cold approach, right? Even just cold approaching. Say you don't even know this chick. She doesn't know you but automatically you're already pedestalizing her in your head because she's hot, she's good looking, got a slam in body. You're already pedestalizing her in your head versus being realistic, right? It's like, dude, yeah, she looks good, but she's not perfect. I'm sure she burps, probably farts when nobody's around, you know, takes a dump like everybody else. You have to humanize her, guys. You gotta stop like idealizing these girls and putting them on this pedestal that you know, most of the time they don't even deserve to be on, that they can't even fulfill, that they don't want to be on, right? But it all starts in your head. I mean, you have to believe that you are better than the girl, okay? You really have to believe that, and then you have to live as that. You have to become that. So it's not enough to just, like, lie to yourself and be like, yeah, I'm better than her, but she has a better job. She takes care of herself. She goes to the gym more. She eats healthier. She has more goals and you know, bigger dreams than you do, I mean, you have to outpace her, right? Either that or go for a lower value female so that you can feel that you're better than her. Even if you're in a situation where you haven't achieved what you want to yet, I mean, because I was in that situation too when I first started out gaming and I was dating girls who were much higher value than I was, the thing that I did to kind of equalize everything was that I had big dreams. I had big plans that were way larger than life and way bigger 
than anything she was doing or anything she was aspiring to be. Even though she was making more money than me, she was on a better career path than me, I had like very lofty goals, right? I had like huge aspirations. I would always think big. So I was always like a big thinker, like, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. I mean, it was like just some like Top Gun type shit, right? It was this crazy like larger than life type goals that I always had and it kind of put me in a place, at least mentally, where I was convinced that I was better than the girl, right? Even at my, in my 20s, I was like able to convince myself that I was better than her. Even though maybe realistically I wasn't, at least at that time, right? But my goals were bigger than anything that she could possibly fathom, okay? I mean, at one point, like I was playing football, I was like, oh, I'm gonna play professional football. I'm going to call these NFL teams. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You know, this is how much even just like backup quarterbacks make. And so I would always just kind of have these really huge, gigantic goals that were bigger than what most guys would be dreaming about, right? So uh, I was able to convince myself that I was better than she was, right? And at the end of the day, when you're in these relationships with a girl, whether again, you're cold approach, you're just cold approaching her, you're dating her casually, or anything more than that, you have to convince yourself that you are better than her. Your sexual marketplace value is gonna last longer than hers is, which it is, right? Let's face it, let's be honest, a female sexual marketplace value is not gonna last nearly as long as a man's, okay? Because for women, they hit their peak at 25, whereas for guys, I mean, our prime really is from age 35 to 45 and beyond that. For women, they're primarily judged on their physical attractiveness, right? Most of their social value derives from their ability to stay physically attractive and young. Whereas for guys, most of our social value derives from not just our appearance, but more than that, our earning capability, our financial resources, the value we're adding to the world, right? So for us, we can keep building upon that, right? We can keep building upon that. Whereas for women, they're kind of getting the short end of the stick on that. So in that sense, you have to realize like, hey, you know, I've kind of already won the game, right? It's like you've already won the game and you haven't even had to do anything yet. Um, but at the end of the day, you have to believe that you're better than her, okay? And again, like I said, you want to be emulating that so that it matches reality as evenly as possible. You want to be the biggest, baddest alpha male that you possibly can be. You wanna be on your path and purpose. You wanna be grinding every day. You wanna be achieving success. You wanna be achieving financial success, physical success, spiritual success. You want to become a complete man so that when you meet these girls in field and you're like thinking in your head, hey, I'm better than her, It'll be true, right? It'll be reality. It won't be like you're faking it. And especially if you're in your 30s and your 40s and you're on your career path and you're making more money, you're more financially stable, you're more mature than you ever used to be, you got a nicer car, uh, you might have your own place now, might even have your own house, right? And you're out there gaming these girls and you meet some girls 21, 22, still living at her parents, working at Starbucks, you know, barely passing her classes in college. You're better than her, right? You're doing better than her. Okay, there's not much convincing that needs to go on there. The problem is a lot of guys who are doing better than these girls completely downplay the fact that they're doing better than them. Almost like self-deprecate and they, they purposely bring themselves down a notch so they, they can equalize the girl to be on his level when you shouldn't be doing that because once a girl doesn't see you as more valuable than you are, and she sees you as an equal, that is when you're doomed. That is when your relationship is destined to come apart, to fail, right? I just did a, uh, a coaching video not that long ago about uh, Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith, Hall of Fame running back, Emmett Smith and his wife divorced after 20 years. He was literally saying that he was devastated that his wife was filing for divorce after 20 years of marriage. He was devastated by this, right? I saw this happening all along. Like when I started to watch the interviews, I could see the, de the deterioration in their relationship from when they first started going out 
like around the time they got married, which was like in the early 2000s, you could look back at those older interviews, like when Emmett was talking, she would be looking up at him, like just these eyes of admiration, like, oh my gosh, I'm with Emmett Smith. I'm with this Hall of Fame Dallas Cowboys running back, Emmett Smith, right? And he knew who he was. I was like, that's right, girl, you're with Emmett Smith, right? And he was talking that way about himself, like in his head. It's like, you know who you're with, right? In his head, he was like, I'm better than you. I'm Emmett Smith. I'm a Hall of Fame running back, girl. That's who I am. But as the relationship progressed, he forgot who he was, right? He forgot who he was, and he tried to normalize their relationship to where there were equals, and she no longer saw him as Emmett Smith. She no longer saw him as being better than her. Instead, she just saw him as a, an equal. Right? This is why I'm against all that equality stuff in the relationship. You can't have a relationship like that and expect the girl to maintain physical and sexual attraction for you. That's not how it works. Sexual attraction and physical attraction comes from tension, right? It comes from tension, conflict. It comes from almost like anger, like emotional anger, right? That's where that comes from in relationships. Um, when you try to maintain this politically correct, egalitarian type relationship, the girl will look at you like a brother. She'll just look at you like a friend. Not even that, but like she'll become resentful of you. She won't see you as a man. She won't see you as a leader. She will just see you as a girlfriend, an ugly girlfriend that she is obligated to have sex with once in a, once a month so you'll shut up and not bother her. Is that the kind of relationship you want? No, you want a sexually charged relationship where the girl can't keep her hands off of you, can't stop complaining about you to her girlfriends, to her family, to her, you know, to her coworkers, and can't wait to go home to. Okay, not the type who's like, oh, we got this egalitarian equal, equal partnership, we're equals, I don't care, he's a Hall of Fame running back, we're equals. And then next thing you know, that chick's running off to happy hour, she's running off to Vegas with her girlfriend, she's meeting like random dudes who are, you know, who don't have anything invested in her and she's feeling sexual attraction for these guys because they're not treating her like she's anything special. They're just like, hey girl, what's up? Slamming body girl, hey, what up? Wanna come with me? And they're just being alpha, just raw and alpha, like barely any game, raw and alpha. That's their game and your girl is getting sexually attracted, she's getting wet down there for a guy she doesn't even know because they're presenting a side of masculinity that you lost, okay? You lost that because you bought into the, the politically correct culture, right? You bought into all the, the mainstream narrative that, oh, toxic masculinity, you bought into that garbage, right? This is why I will never buy into it because I've been out there in venues my entire adult life. I've seen tens of thousands of social interactions play out between males and females with me being included in many of those, right? And I've seen the same pattern of behavior play out over and over and over, no matter what the girl's political beliefs are. I've seen the most hardcore feminists melt like puppies, turn into little kittens around the most dominant alpha men that they turn around and claim to hate, claim to be toxic masculinity. These are the guys they go home with, right? These are guys they go home with. So you're not gonna convince me of jack shit that, oh, equals, we're, we're not better than each other, we're the same. No, you have to feel that you are better than your girl. Because when you feel that, you will present that, right? You will set that frame and that standard in your relationship. And again, I can't say this enough, it doesn't mean to treat her like dog shit, to treat her piss poorly, to be abusive, that's not what I'm talking about. It's so sad I have to put in that caveat for all the dummies out there who wanna like clip out what I say and you know, try to create like a, a, a negative narrative, like, oh, pickup artist says treat women like dog shit. It's like, no, dumbass, don't do that, right? You know what I'm saying? In the back of your head, you must feel that you are better than your girl, okay? Because if you don't feel that, and you feel that she's better than you, I'm telling you right now, you're in a doomed relationship. You're in a doomed relationship. That chick's gonna end up leaving you, or cheating on you, or both, period, period. Every single time, Without fail, I have seen this play out with student after student after student who has not heeded my advice, who tried to run that equal egalitarian stuff even when the guy was like a doctor, a surgeon, and he was dating a girl who worked at the taco stand. No, no, we're just people. We're just people at the end of the day. It doesn't matter I went to Harvard, I went to Yale and got my medical degree, and I'm a surgeon making hundreds of thousand dollars, and she's just working at the taco stand. No, we're equals. We're equals. She's a woman. I gotta empower her. And yeah, do that shit, and this little 22 year old will dump your surgeon ass on the street for the drug dealer. 
right? Don't be a fool. Okay, you must feel in your head that you're better than the girl and not be afraid to act like it. Again, not in a, an abusive or derogatory manner, but in a way that presents you as the leader. Even in my own relationships, I've mentioned when I was dating the 19 year old, for example, I mean, I never had to verbalize it, but she knew that I was, I was doing better than her. Right, that I was pretty much the best that she could get, at least at that point. I mean, unless you meet somebody higher value, but she realized she was like, yep, this guy's better than me, right? Because the worst thing, you know, the worst thing that can happen is when you let your girl feel or you let your girl think for a second that she's better than you, okay? She can never think that, guys. Your girl can never for a second think that she's better than you because when she does, you know, any time she does, those are the times she's gonna act out, those are the times she's gonna throw hissy fits, those are the times she's gonna disrespect you, mouth off to you, put you down, yell at you in front of a crowd, run a smear campaign on you to your family and friends, talk about how awful you are. Those are the times those things happen. And I laugh my ass off whenever I hear a girl talk about her man like that. It's always a guy who buys into that politically correct narrative that, you know, oh, you gotta empower your girl, you gotta lift her up at the expense of you, you gotta be equals and all this other stuff. And it doesn't mean that you can't support your girl, right? But you know what? She has to know who the leader of that relationship is and she has to trust your lead. She has to trust you to be a man. And the problem with a lot of these guys where their chicks just mouth off on them, throw hissy fits, throw temper tantrums, the reason they do this stuff is because they don't respect you as a man. They don't trust you to be a man. They don't trust you to lead your relationship. This is why they they act out on you. No different than a child, right? If you have a young daughter and she starts acting out on you, it's because she doesn't respect you as, your, as her father. Once you put your foot down and you let her know who's boss and you let her know that, hey, this, this type of behavior is not gonna be tolerated, young lady, right and you continuously put your foot down it sends the message to her like okay i better knock this shit off right the problem though is a lot of guys don't do that a lot of guys don't do that they let their girl get away with lots of bad behavior lots of piss poor treatment right they tolerate a lot of garbage from their woman even though it causes them grief it causes them pain sleepless nights depression anxiety anger, right? The reason why they allow that is because they don't believe that they're better than her. Because if you were believe that you were better than your girl and you could get better than her, because okay? at the end of the day, that's what that really boils down to is like, I feel I'm better than you. That means I can get better than you. If you ever act out, I can replace you. That's really what that means. Okay, but these guys don't believe that in their heads. They don't believe that they can replace her. That's why they tolerate that. Because if they knew they could replace her, they wouldn't tolerate that. This is why whenever I've dated somebody and they've attempted, okay, attempted, quote unquote, to act out, to throw hissy fits, to push my buttons, to cross my boundaries, I am very quick to bite back and go, hey, cut it, right? Hey, I don't need to hear the lip. Hey, cut it now or I walk, right? Cut it now or I'm out that door. I don't play when I say that. I would rather be alone, as it says in the Bible, it's better to be alone in a forest than with a uh, scorned, vile, angry uh, female, right? I'm no different. I'd rather be alone. I enjoy being alone. I enjoy my, spending time by myself. I don't need a female for that, okay? I'm fine on my own. So. That's just like the icing on the cake. That's just a bonus. If I find a cool chick, she's fun to hang out with, great. Love to have you in my life. But if you're gonna act out, throw hissy fits, act like you're better than me, time to go, okay? Time to go. This was a lesson that Patrice O'Neill used to preach all the time. He was like, you must feel that you're better than your woman. Never lead her on to believe that she's better than you. Because once you do that, that is when the problems happen, fellas. When you let your woman believe that she is better than you. That is at the core of all of your relationship problems. Even just, again, just cold approaching the chick. When you pedestalize her in your head, make her feel that she's better than you, guess what? She's gonna treat you as such.
okay she's gonna treat you as such okay you cannot you know act like a peasant and expect her to treat you like a king it doesn't work that way if you want to be treated like king you must act like a king okay doesn't mean to be this arrogant narcissistic son of a bitch it just means to demonstrate and create the aura of somebody who is successful okay mentally financially spiritually and physically okay and with that said i'm gonna wrap up here until next time this is M from The 33 Secrets. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Very important you subscribe. Helps me out a ton when you do. So please subscribe to my channel and also share my coaching videos with like-minded friends of yours who really need this education, this training okay this dating education and pickup training so share my coaching videos as well as subscribing and for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill gold pill and platinum pill content that i'm teaching you guys even further the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program seven months of mastery where i'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest hottest and most beautiful looking women on the planet i'm talking about eights nines and tens the same exact type of women that myself and my students are out there cold approaching and closing every single week without fail and i kid you not every single week without fail these are the type of women that most of your guy friends can only dream about. Most of your guy friends will only see in magazines. Okay, I'm teaching you how to go out, find, meet, and attract these women into your life. The type of women that share your same values, beliefs, likes, dislikes, and on top of that, the icing on the cake is they are hot. Again, we go after the eights nines and tens only i teach you how to do that in seven months to mastery and right now the first month is only a buck one dollar for the entire first month of coaching lessons okay i've decided to keep that deal going for a bit longer because of the high demand so it's only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons so please take advantage of it it's the absolute best way to support my work and everything i'm teaching here on my youtube channel so if you want to get signed up, it's real easy. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.